Welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm Mike Benitez. Today we'll be talking about another ship, but today we'll be talking about a German ship. Now, this German ship was built during the Nazi Rhine in the, 19, in the late 1930s and 1940s. However, this ship is pretty not well known a lot. But, the, but this ship had a sister ship. Now this cur now this certain sister ship happened to be the well the infamous Wilhelm Gustloff. Now everyone knows the story of the Wilhelm Gustloff that she sank on January thirtieth, nineteen forty five. But uh, but I will talk about her sinking in the next video. But did you know that the Wilhelm Gustloff had a younger sister? Indeed, the Wilhelm Gustloff did have a younger sister. And her name was the Robert Lay. Let's begin the origins of the Robert Lay. Robert Lay, as well uh, as well as her oldest sister, the Wilhelm Gustloff, was built for the cur uh, for the Kirch du uh, for the Kirch du uh, for the Kirch Dirch Freude of uh, organization of Nazi Germany. This meant strength through joy. It was a special organization led by Adolf Hitler to show uh, to show the powers of the nationalization system. To prove it, they decided to make their own cruise company with the uh, with the KDF, and so they decided to make ships. and And there were two giant ships in this in this fleet. The first superliner would be named Wilhelm Gustloff. The second, Robert Ley. Robert Ley was named after a very famous Nazi politician uh, under Adolf Hitler's command. As being designed as a cruise ship, she was uh, uh, Robert Ley would have been used exclusively for cruises. Robert Ley's construction began in 1936, the same year as her older sister, the Wilhelm Gustloff. However, Robert Ley was launched a year after Wilhelm Gustloff on March twenty uh, on March twenty ninth, nineteen thirty eight. So it's safe to say that she was the younger sister of the Wilhelm Gustloff. Now the now due to the fact that the Robert that Robert Ley was used extensively for the Nazi for the Nazi program, she would be known as a German propaganda ship to uh, to propose the uh, the uh, good jobs that the uh, that Adolf Hitler would do for his people of Nazi Germany, and to prove that he wanted these two ships, the Robert Ley and the Wilhelm Gustloff, to be the most popular. During her short-lived service with the KDF, Robert Ley was considered the flagship of the fleet, as well as her older sister, the Wilhelm Gustloff. However, I think I would safely consider Robert Ley to look bigger than the Wilhelm Gustloff. I mean, by looking at them side by side, it is safe to say that Robert Ley was way bigger than the Wilhelm Gustloff, making her the biggest, fl uh, biggest ship in the KDF fleet. However, her career was short-lived. Robert Ley's interior, uh, interior, though, was one of the most luxurious on any German ship. She was she was ten decks tall, the bridge de uh, with the bridge deck, the sun de uh, the su the sun deck, the boat deck, the promenade de uh, uh, the promenade deck, and decks A through F. Robert Lay had a lot of interiors on board, a hairdresser, a, a dining room capable for 860 people, and many more. Hairdresser, laundry mat, laundry mats, libraries, uh, uh, pools, a lot of stuff that you would also find on her older sister, Wilhelm Gustloff. She had a dining room and a grand staircase and several, uh, and several laundry mats. Another thing she had was her very own bakery. Uh, now I don't know what you people would think about going on a German ship built for the uh, built for the Third Reich, but I bet many people were pretty interested in the in the Robert Ley in Germany due to the fact of how special she was to the fleet, as well as her older sister Wilhelm Gustloff. Trust me, I'm going to refer to the Wilhelm Gustloff a lot of times in this video. Adolf Hitler himself will be seen will be pictured a couple of times on board the Robert Ley. Especially this picture of him on on the promenade deck of the Robert Ley. However, as I said before, Robert Ley's career as a passenger liner was short-lived due to the fact that she was first commissioned in 1939, a few we uh, a few months before the start of the Second World War. 
In May 1939, uh, Robert Ley, Wilhelm Gustav, and several other KDF ships sailed to, to Vigo to bring medical supplies, along with bringing some men of the Condor region ba Legion back home. 1,416 of those were on the Robert Ley that trip. When World War II started, the Wilhelm Gustav and Robert Ley would found themselves in a new type of service. Just like her sister, on uh, on August 25th, 1939, Robert Ley found herself being uh, taken over by the Craig's Marine and turned and was converted into a hospital ship. During this career, she was known as Leisure uh, Ship B or Hospital Ship B. However, unlike her uh, unlike her sister, she the Wilhelm Gustloff, who was a hospital ship in 1940. The the Vel the Robert Lay had uh, was only a hospital ship for about almost three months. On November twenty second, nineteen thirty nine, not even three uh, home, not even four months into her service as a hospital ship, Robert Lay was converted yet again. This time for the sleeping quarters of the first marine of the first submarine training division, a very popular uh, a very popular training center for some for submariners. Her old, her oldest sister, Wilhelm Gustloff, would also be the same, except for except the sleeping quarters for the second summer, uh, submarine training division. During this service, Robert Ley was uh, Robert Ley wa uh, was stationed at Neustadt. Then she was stationed yet again in 1941 to Pillu. Then, in July of 1944, the the Robert Ley was then converted yet again. This time as a casualty transport ship in the Baltic Sea. Then, in September 1940, uh, in September 1944, she was converted yet again back to the first uh, as living quarters for the first set, uh, for the uh, first uh, uh, submarine training division. This time as an accommodation ship for the first uh, for the first seven uh, for the first uh, submarine training division, the uh, Robert Ley was uh, was stationed at Hamburg. Then, in 1945, we meet, we meet the last year of the life of the Robert Ley. In 1945, after the breakthrough of the, uh, of the Red Army, the Operation Hannibal began. She, uh, Robert Ley and her sister, Wilhelm Gustloff, were ordered to become, to become uh, uh, evacuation ships in Operation Hannibal to evacuate civilians and the, and the wounded from East Prussia. However, one ship didn't make it out alive. Robert Lay, uh, Robert Lay left Palu on, on January 25th, 1945. She survived the voyage. But five days later, her, si her oldest sister, the Wilhelm Gustloff, was torpedoed only nine hours after leaving port by the, sum by the Soviet submarine S-13. Almost not, uh, uh, over 9,000 9, people died. Making Wilhelm Gustloff the the mo the maritime the largest maritime disaster in history. What happened to the Robert Lay, you may ask? Well, two months later, just like her oldest sister, Robert Lay would be dead. It is ninth of Mar is the ninth of March, nineteen forty five. Robert Lay is stationed at the port of Hamburg. Then, the Royal Na the Royal Air Force begins an airstrike. It is the end of the Robert Lay. Robert Lay is hit by several bombs and is completely destroyed and is a burnt out wreck. She remains there, dead, for another year. In 1947, the still afloat wreck of the Robert Lay, uh, of Robert Lay was towed to the UK and was scrapped. The fla the former flagship, or one of the flagship of the of the infamous KDF of Nazi Germany, was gone, scrapped to pieces, destroyed by bombs. While her oldest sister, Wilhelm Gustloff, lies on the Baltic Sea. There you go, the story of the Robert Lay, sister ship to the Wilhelm Gustloff. When I first heard of this ship, I thought it was not even real, just a, just a, a cro photo cropped image of the Wilhelm Gustloff, and you put another name in it. But in fact, 
This was a real ship. She was a, she was real, but sadly, she was uh, she was destroyed by bombs. But a service she did have. She served uh, uh, for several purposes for Nazi Germany, and despite being on the Nazis, she was still an incredible-looking ship, the flagship of the KDF, Kraft der Freude, Strength Through Joy. Hopefully, by read by looking at this video, you'll know what you'll know what was the uh, citizenship of the Wilhelm Gustloff, what she looked like, and what was her story. How, why was she built? And how she was sunk by several bombs during World War II. Mo However, she only she only was destroyed at the end of the war, and was scrapped in 1947. There you go. The story of two. Be uh, the story of how a sister ship of the Wilhelm Gustloff met her end, similar to that of her sister. Now, I, now, even though they're not exactly identical, I would like to call these two liners the Wilhelm Gustloff class, a, sh two, a class of two giant superliners built for Nazi Germany. Both were flagships, but however, both were lost in 1945, one to a Soviet submarine, one to British bombs. In the next video, I'll be talking about the disaster of the Wilhelm Gustloff. But hopefully, you'll ever uh, by seeing this video, you'll remember the story of the Robert Lay, the sister ship of the Wilhelm Gustloff. Well, uh, thank you for enjoying this video. I am Magmita signing out on the story of the uh, on the story of the sister ship of the Wilhelm Gustloff, the Robert Lay.